Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss offset slider crank mechanism, position, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis using analytical method. Here is a typical offset slider crank mechanism whose a slider is positioned below crank center by an offset E. This link is crank and length is L2, angle between horizontal and this link is theta2. This is a coupler link, length is L3, angle between horizontal and coupler link is theta3. Let us see in the coming slides how to derive equations. When crank and coupler come in line like shown by this blue line, then slider will be having its rightmost position. So at this position, this length represented by this blue line is L2 plus L3. Let us call this angle between this line and this horizontal is theta1. If this is theta1, this is L2 plus L3, then distance between crank center and extreme position of the slider will be L2 plus L3 into cos theta1. When crank rotates by an angle theta2, then coupler is also going to rotate in clockwise direction by an angle theta3. So horizontal um, component of L2 will be X1 and similarly horizontal component of L3 will be X2. At this point, um, the slider moves from its original position that is rightmost position to this position. So the distance between these two points, let us call that X that is a displacement. The angle theta1 can be calculated as sin theta1 equal to E that is offset divided by L2 plus L3. So theta1 can be written as theta1 equal to sin inverse E by L2 plus L3. Now let us see the displacement of the slider X. X can be written as L2 plus L3 cos theta1 that is total length minus X1 minus X2. So this um, the horizontal uh, X1 can be written as uh, L2 cos theta2. Similarly, X uh, x2 can be written as l3 cos theta3 so clockwise um, rotation of angle we take uh, negative and the counter clockwise rotation of angle we take positive so this equation displacement equation will become x equal to l2 into cos theta1 minus theta2 plus l3 into cos theta1 minus theta3 after substituting the x1 and x2 values and uh, rearranging we get this equation so this is the displacement of the slider at any given angle theta2 and theta3. To find velocity of the slider, let us differentiate this equation, displacement equation with respect to time. So V equal to dx by dt. So that equal to L2 into differentiation of uh, cos theta1 with respect to time will be zero since theta1 is constant. So differentiation of minus cos theta2 will become omega 2 into sin theta 2 plus this this side of the this equation uh, this portion of the equation will become l3 into 0 that is again this cos theta 1 differentiation of cos theta 1 with respect to time will be 0 and uh, differentiation of minus cos theta 3 will become uh, omega 3 plus omega 3 into sin theta 3 so velocity of the slider can be written as v equal to l2 omega 2 sin theta 2 plus l3 omega 3 sin theta 3 to find acceleration of the slider, we need to differentiate this equation one more time with respect to time. Uh, with respect to time, so uh, acceleration equation will become a equal to dv by dt that equal to l2 omega 2 square cos theta 2 plus l2 alpha 2 sin theta 2 plus l3 omega 3 square cos theta 3 plus l3 alpha 3 sin theta 3. So omega 2 is angular velocity of crank and alpha 2 is angular acceleration of the crank. Similarly, omega 3 is angular velocity of coupler, alpha 3 is angular acceleration of the coupler. Now let us derive equations to find unknowns that is theta 3, omega 3 and alpha 3. So from this diagram, the uh, y, the vertical component y can be written as E plus L2 sin theta 2 equal to L3 sin minus theta 3. So clockwise rotation of theta 3 is taken negative. So this will become E plus L2 sin theta 2 equal to L3 
sin minus theta 3. So after rearranging this, this equation, we get L3 sin, uh, L3 sin theta 3 equal to minus E minus L2 sin theta 2. So from this, theta 3 can be written as theta 3 equal to sin inverse minus E minus L2 sin theta 2 by L3. So to find omega 3, we need to differentiate this equation with respect to time. So let us do that. So d theta by dt can be written as L3 omega 3 cos theta 3 equal to 0. That is differentiation of E with respect to time will be 0 since E is constant value. So that is 0 minus L2 omega 2 cos theta 2. That is differentiation of this term L2 sin theta 2. So after rearranging, we get omega 3 equal to minus L2 omega 2 cos theta 2 by L3 cos theta 3. This is the equation to find angular velocity of coupler link. And this is the equation to find angle of coupler link theta 3. To find alpha 3, that is angular acceleration of coupler link, we need to differentiate the previous equation one more time with respect to time. So that will be d square theta by dt square. That will become minus L3 omega 3 square sin theta 3 plus L3 alpha 3 cos theta 3 equal to L2 omega 2 square sin theta 2 minus L2 alpha 2 cos theta 2. So after simplification, after rearranging this equation, we get alpha 3 equal to L3 omega 3 square sin theta 3 plus L2 omega 2 square sin theta 2 minus L2 alpha 2 cos theta 2 by L3 cos theta 3. So this is the equation to find alpha 3, that is angular acceleration of coupler link. After having derived all the necessary equations, now let us solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So in this problem, we have taken L2, that is crank length, uh, 480 millimeter, L3 coupler link length, 1600 millimeter, and offset 100 millimeter. So from this geometry, we can find theta 1 is 2.76 degrees. So we have taken uh, omega 2, uh, that is counterclockwise direction, positive, uh, the value is 20 radians per second, and alpha 2, we have taken 0 radians per second square. So in this column, we have written theta 2, uh, 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees. In this, in this column, we have calculated theta 3, that is a cup, uh, coupler angle. In this column, we have calculated uh, slider displacement. Uh, in this column, we have calculated omega 3, that is angular velocity of coupler link. In this column, we have calculated the slider velocity. And in this column, we have calculated alpha 3, that is uh, angular acceleration of coupler link. In this column, we have calculated acceleration of slider. So oh, we can see that here uh, we have taken uh, counterclockwise uh, rotation um, positive and uh, angular velocity also taken positive. So uh, for angles between uh, theta 1 and 180 minus theta 1, uh, the slider will be moving from its rightmost position to leftmost position. So velocity of the slider is taken positive. So after that, um, up to again theta 1, uh, we have uh, the slider will be moving from its leftmost position to rightmost position. So, so the velocity of the slider is coming negative here. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus theta 3, theta 2 along horizontal and theta 3 along vertical. So this is the variation of theta 3 with respect to theta 2. Similarly, in this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus omega 3. Again, theta 2 along horizontal and omega 3 along vertical. So this is the variation of omega 3. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus alpha 3. So theta 2 again along horizontal and alpha 3 along vertical. And this is the variation of alpha 3 with respect to theta 2. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus slider displacement. So theta 2 along horizontal and slider displacement along vertical. You can see the variation of slider displacement with respect to theta 2. Similarly, in this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus slider velocity. Again, theta 2 along horizontal and slider velocity along vertical. You can see the variation of slider velocity with respect to theta 2. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus acceleration of the slider. Theta 2 again along horizontal and acceleration of slider along vertical. This is the variation of acceleration of slider with respect to theta 2. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.